Coach Strasco, a 74-58 win, which you trailed a lot of the first half. You were led by six at halftime, built the lead in the second half. Your thoughts on the victory? Um, you know, not not every game goes the way you want it to go, and um, I think we did. We we learned a lot about ourselves and and uh, and our mindset. Probably, um, this is this is uh, starting. Starting to to uh, be a be a little bit of an issue. I, I want to come out and get a, get a quicker start, and and uh, they were doing a nice job getting back and, and packing uh, into the paint with their two three zone. Um, we weren't as aggressive off of off of it that, as we wanted to be, and, and in the second half we really started to um, open up and, and look for our shot. Um, so I guess the first half is kind of a, a story of of. Uh, the way we didn't want to execute, and then, and then the second half we we made it a lot better. So, um, got to be got to be happy with the second effort in the, in the second half there. I thought your guys off the bench hitting threes was a big key in the game. You got a lot of production there from the outside. Yeah, I they were just talking about it in the locker room. They said one of them played five minutes and had six points, and the other one played nine minutes, had nine points, uh, all on threes, or a three-point play I think was the other one. So. Um, but yeah, uh, they they really came off the bench ready to go, um, and thank goodness. I mean, I've been waiting for Joe Remsburg. I mean, number ten, he can he can really shoot it. We we always uh, compare him to Oglesby from Iowa because uh, they say they say he doesn't shoot so well in, in games. I tend to disagree with them, but they say he's the best shooter they've ever had in practice, and. Uh, Joe has been been an excellent shooter, and you know I've said from the start of the season he doesn't have to prove anything to me. I already know he can shoot. I already know uh, he's got it. Um, but even more than that, he was so good um, mentally. You know he didn't he didn't press. He didn't uh, try to make things happen that weren't there. And and uh, in return, he was able to take advantage of of uh, some nice some nice looks. The free throw shooting helped keep you in it early too. You were 11 of 13 in the first half. Most of it was Mitchell Nelson, and then mm -hmm. pretty sure it was uh, 23 of 29 for the game. The yeah, yeah. Um, well, that's something we work on every day. You know, it, it seems it kind of stinks because we'll have games like this where we shoot free throws pretty darn well, and then we'll have games where we don't shoot them so well. So I don't know what the difference is. Maybe it was the uh, the wall paint in here or something. I don't know. I don't know what to credit it to, but. Um, we do practice them, believe it or not, and uh, and it was good to see them finally take advantage of some of those free ones. Coach, anything else that stood out to you about the win tonight? Uh, I I just think we we got an excellent effort from everyone on our bench. You know, we went a little bit deeper um, tonight. We really wanted to keep our legs fresh, um, which was part of the game plan. You know, get it into this uh, get into the second half fresh and and uh, push the ball, look look uh, up the floor, get some easy looks there, but. Um, but I feel like everyone that came in the game um, was a positive contribution to the game. I, I don't know that I, I don't think I put one player in that that I spent it in and said, "Darn, I wish I wouldn't have put him in." So um, I was really happy with our bench and and uh, and then, like you said, our ability to shoot free throws tonight was was really a, a change. Well, you get to five wins now, and have all those been at home so far? Your previous um, wins, or yeah. Not, I guess, real often to get a road yeah, win in the yeah, conference is yeah, a big step know. too. Yeah. Um, so uh, we've had a couple. We had a couple opportunities to get road wins. Uh, ones that we wish we would have taken advantage of. Um, one at AHST that we really um, thought we uh, could have finished a little bit better. I think we lost by eight. So I know they're coming back to our place, and, and uh, that won't, you know, that won't be a game that that uh, we'll need any encouragement getting up for. I think. Um, you know, from here on out, you know, the season's winding down. I think the seniors are antsy. They, they want to get to tournament time and, and see, what, see what all the hard work this year has been about. Um, I think it might have been a couple of years since they've won a, a district game. So um, I'm excited for them. I think they, they bring um, a winning work ethic every day um, to practice. And... Uh, and uh, I'm just. I guess I'm just excited to see see the rest of the season unfold. So, thanks, Coach. Appreciate it. Yeah.